My Wunderkin returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ankoran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, budge. Beckett. Do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> Why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You! You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. If only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. In the last few seconds, I've had very few epiphanies. I may be old, but I didn't build it. How knowledgeable are you on ancient Assyrian funerary constructs? Yes, quite astute. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. Uh, no. His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. Appears he's been abducted. I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them headfirst over the side. The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection, or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used quite ingeniously as bait for Prince Lacroix's minions. Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold some time ago. They're so secret a church organization, I don't even think they know if they exist. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ, or some such deity. It's not that I don't love walking into the heart of danger to curry favor with the local magistrate of the hour. But, actually, that's exactly it. I'd rather not get involved in the politics of it. Besides, I'd better document the sarcophagus before Sebastian's goon smashes it open.
You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Excellent. The Society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Obfuscate will serve you well around the Hunters. Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Then I'll let you in on a little secret. Beckett may not be the name I was born with. Events always seem to unfold wherever I go, like Chicago a few years ago. Oh, it's a bother to explain. Either I'm pursuing fate, or it's got a bone to pick with me. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. Excellent. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? I can't have my protege looking plebeian, can I? You'll find I can be very generous towards those who serve me well. Point made. I'm sorry there, but Mr. LaCroix, he told me not to let anybody up right now. He sounded kind of P.O.'d. Must be all the late nights he's working. Anyhow, I can't let you go see him right now. Sorry. Mr. LaCroix was real specific. And maybe if you come back later, he'll calm down. He seems to be all tore up about that sarcophagus he got stolen from a museum. <laughs> Must be a real history lover. Not supposed to open the doors for anyone. Sorry there, Chief. <laughs>